Okay, first take. I spent several months making a project here, and this is the result of my latest project. This is an astrolabe, and it's made out of brass, and there's a lot of moving parts. I'll take it apart in a few minutes, but you can see it's it's a uh, medieval navigation device, invented probably about 600 AD and used through until the invention of the, the uh, Sexton. We have moving parts. This moves. Little thing on the back moves. Anyway, I'll show you uh, some of the tools I used. And uh, as I say, I'll take it apart here in a second. This is the astrolabe here. And there's moving parts. Uh, there's it's there's it's a sighting device on the back here. There's a little you sight through these little holes, you can sight up to the sun, you hang it vertically, and then you sight to the sun and measure off this angle here, and there's an angle scale. And then if you know the day, this circle over here is the location of the sun in various days of the year. You put this over to where the sun was on that date, then you swing this whole thing around these little marks down below are altitude marks. So you put the altitude that you measure the sun, and then this little marker up at the top tells you what time of day it is. And apparently it was used for uh, determining the tides and uh, when to go to prayer and things like that. I'll take it apart. I made all of this myself except for the uh, knurled knob on the top. This is the little rotator the marker thing for the front still the uh, a little washer which I had to make myself. This is the device which contains the location of the sun and then it can be used at night. These little pointers point to particular stars so you can measure the altitude of the star and then also do the same calculation to determine what time of night it is depending on where the star is and altitude. Uh, this is the sighting device up the back side and uh, this is a little bolt that holds it all together and this is called the mother plate these are markings for altitudes this is the horizon this is the zenith uh, one of these markings is the celestial equator and the other one's the tropic of whatever and as i say we have markings on the back uh, let me show you some of what you need to make this device so to make this i started out i needed a something to engrave the brass with. I bought brass sheets. You can cut them up with your uh, scroll saw, which I happen to own an antique scroll saw from about 1950. And it's actually fairly easy to cut. You can cut and file and sand it then. That's the shaping of it. And then to put the markings, the markings on the device pieces, these little marks here have to be scroll uh, engraved in there and in order to do engraving you need a tool and the tool for engraving is called a graver uh, you can buy them but it turns out they're actually fairly easy to make and when you buy them you have to sharpen them anyway so what one starts out with is this is called high speed steel it's very hard steel and you can uh, grind it to shape and cut it Basically what you do is you heat this area here and then you can eventually cut it because this lost the anneal to being sharp. And that's a very sharp, hard. You then grind the end of it and flatten it out. And once you do that, you can put it in this little device here, which keeps keeps it at a constant angle. This is a diamond uh, sandpaper basically and you then scrape it along and that sharpens this flat edge and then you have to put on a tiny, you can't see it, but there's a tiny, two little tiny edges about a third of a millimeter on there and when you get done that can be used to gouge through the uh, 
brass. I forgot to, I forgot to bring my ball peen hammer up here. Uh, I made the handles out of some wooden dowels, a little piece of brass tubing puts this on here, and you jam the rod down in to the dowel, and this little brass keeps it from splitting the, the uh, wooden dowel. I, this might be oak, I'm not sure. Uh, it, it's parts of this. Parts of my uh, astrolabe are uh, riveted together. Uh, this piece here is separate from the back piece, so I cut and made this piece here, and then you drill holes, you put a little tiny piece of brass through that, which you cut to length, and then you pound over the top of it, you pound over the bottom of it, it's called peening, and then when you get done, uh, you can then grind it off with a file and sand it off, and these are now, these two pieces are now bonded together by these uh, rivets. Uh, I needed to put my ring on the top, and again, this is a little rivet on the top to keep the ring. The ring has to is to allow one to hang it vertically, so you can measure the altitude correctly. If you want to make one, they're actually kind of fun to make, you'll also need a magnifying glass <laughs> to check the sharpness of your tool as you go along. And then you have to spend a lot of time practicing engraving, at least I did. And uh, I think when I got done, I'm a pretty good engraver, kind of pretty good beginner engraver now. But when I first started out, some of it looked pretty bad, so part of my astrolabe has got some kind of poor engraving on it, but that's the way it goes.